Violence is common in Papua New Guinea's Highlands region, but the last week has been particularly bad. Gangs wielding machetes and guns looted warehouses, burned buildings and a plane. Al Jazeera is unable to verify this footage, but it was provided by a usually reliable source. This video is said to show rioters inside the country's biggest resources project, a liquefied natural gas plant run by ExxonMobil. Most of the violence was triggered by a disputed election result. William Powey, a member of the governing People's National Congress Party, was declared governor of the Southern Highlands last year, but his opponents did not feel the electoral process had been fair. For the first time in history, where the, the result was not even completed. The election process was not even completed and you had a declaration mid-term, uh, mid-process. There was a legal challenge, but last week the court found in favour of Powie and the violence followed. We are moving to labelling what has happened as criminal efforts, labelling the people who have done this as uncivilised or as thugs, I don't think this is the right way to approach this situation. Opposition views this as a no confidence in the leadership in Southern Highlands province, particularly and more so the leadership demonstrated by the Prime Minister. And opposition is now calling on the Prime Minister to resign. But instead, the Prime Minister, Peter O'Neill, who this week met China's President Xi Jinping, has declared a nine-month state of emergency, imposing a nighttime curfew in the city of Mendi and sending in the military and special police units. We have had incidences where you know, we are all uh, shameful about. But uh, uh, this is a uh, province that has had similar problems in the past. But these problems come at a difficult time. Earlier this year, the same region was hit by a major earthquake. And this November, Papua New Guinea will host the biggest event in its history, the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, or APEC, summit. While that's on in the capital, much of the country will still be under a state of emergency. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.